Hi, welcome back to the Cuzzy Sound channel and part five in the series all about my Project 12 modular analog synth. And in this episode, I'm going to be looking at a voltage control contro voltage controlled amplifier, um, a VCA that's based around the 13700 operational transconductance amplifier chip. It's the one marked here, dual VCA. Um, the circuit design is taken from Modular in a Week. I'll put the link in the description for that. Um, and what we'll do, we'll have a have a look at the board, have a look at the controls, um, and then hear what a VCA does. Uh, so yeah, let's have a closer look and see what the panel actually looks like. This is the front of the panel and as the name suggests we have two VCAs and um, the controls on both are exactly the same. We have an input which is where you would feed the signal that you wanted to control the amplitude and hence the volume of and then we have the output which um, is the signal after being modified by the VCA so that's where you'll get your altered output. The actual control of the output from the VCA is achieved by feeding your control voltage into the CV input and then this dial here um, is a bias control um, what that does that's kind of uh, affecting the kind of balance if you like on the input to the operational transconductance amplifier, the OTA. Um, when I put it back in the synth and uh, crank it up you'll, you'll be able to hear what effect altering the bias control has. Um, the circuit. Well there is the circuit. A relatively simple circuit. This is the 13700 chip here. Um, essentially what you, what you have, you have each side of the chip is an identical OTA. Um, so they, you've got basically the identical circuit on either side of the board. In this design, this, this is a very simplified design and it's just basically a few resistors and, and a capacitor as well as the chip. So really, really simple, not many components at all. Um, I've put this strip board layout together from the circuit diagram on modular in a week so this is what my strip board looks like as you can see there's not a lot of components there um, so yeah there you go that's that's how I interpreted the schematic so getting back to um, the the circuit itself the thing with uh, OTAs, they often get confused with uh, uh, standard op amps. Um, they look pretty similar on a circuit diagram, but they're not the same. They work in completely different ways. If you want a full description of how uh, an OTA actually operates, then just type OTA into the search on YouTube, and there's lots of experts out there giving some really good descriptions of what it is, how it works, and how to set it up and even if you want to do all the calculations to uh, get the right outputs and things then you know you can go as deep as you want with this I don't go that deep I'm not an electronics expert the thing to bear in mind is that um, it, one of the things that makes it not as straightforward as you might think is that it's not actually a voltage controlled amplifier it's a current controlled amplifier and when you look at the circuit diagram there's uh, the difference between this and, and, and a kind of a standard op amp is that there's a, an extra input and that input is where you put the control current in there which will control the output of the OTA. Um, so what we most of the designs of circuit I've seen do is they use resistance to convert uh, current into voltage so we can actually um, and vice versa so we can actually um, use it as voltage controlled um, although technically it's current controlled and the output as well 
um, is a, a variable current. Uh, so again, there has to be some conversion. Um, the simplest way of doing that is using resistors, um, which is pretty much what this circuit does. There are other designs of the circuit which uh, use additional transistors and indeed the bog standard op amps for uh, doing current to voltage conversion and, and conditioning of uh, signals within the design. Um, but I went ahead, this, this was a very very simple circuit so I went ahead and built this one. So yeah, what does it sound like when we put it back in the synth? Let's go and have a listen. Right, well the patch I have set up here is I've got the output from the 3340 VCO going into the input on one of the VCAs and then the output from the VCA is going directly into the mixer and, and out into the recording. Um, I'm controlling this from the key step and the CV out from the key step I'm going through the um, a buffer but it, it's going into the CV in on the 3340 and the gate out from the key step once again going through a buffer but that's just going directly to the CV in on the VCA so that the VCA is just simply being triggered by the on off if you like gate type pulse from the key step um, I've got a sequence running on this it's the one that you heard at the beginning Stepping through the notes from the sequence, we well, said on the on the uh, control once at the panel we have a bias control, which basically is, is adjusting kind of uh, the trigger of the OTA. Um, if I turn it down, you can hear what happens. So you can see there's kind of a there's kind of a balance point somewhere in the middle where we're getting the the maximum effect. If I just stop the sequence for a moment. Ah, now what you're hearing there is something I've discovered with this VCA in that when I stop the trigger signal. VCA doesn't actually go all the way back down to zero output and it still passes my output through. If I change the bias it doesn't go up altogether in that direction and get rid of it altogether in that direction but then if I hit a key we don't get anything. So it's it, for some reason it's not going back to zero. It's responding to the inputs, but then it just it just keeps droning, um, which of course can be quite limited in in how I'm going to use this. Um, let's just turn that down somewhat. Um, once the sequence is running, you don't particularly notice it that much. Now, I'm, I'm just triggering that with this, just a direct trigger from the uh, from the gate out. What we could do, if we could take um, the gate out from 
key step, put it into an envelope, and then trigger the VCA with an envelope. It's still not clearing, it, it's still just droning. So now we've got the sequence running again. If I put a slide the attack on the envelope. We're not getting a we're getting some weird effects going on. Um, I really kind of don't know what's going on here. The, the thing is, it's it's supposed to work like a VCA. Um, and you can Kind of sort of get it to do with that. I mean, if I hit it with a with a square wave pulse, I, I could get kind of a tremolo type uh, effect on it. Um, yeah, I think the bottom line is that as a, a a nice clean VCA that goes from zero up to whatever output level. It doesn't seem to want to work like that, no matter what I do with the bias. It gives a really bright, sharp, almost kind of um, distorted output. I don't really understand what's going on. I mean, I explained earlier how uh, an OTA is supposed to work and how it's supposed to be configured for one of these systems. This very this is a very simplified version of the circuit, um, and once again. I've got a a module that doesn't do exactly what you would expect given what type of module it is and what you'd expect from the circuit design. So yes, it's another module that has some quirky features. And once again, there are occasions where I can use those quirky features, but I must admit I don't very often use this 13700 or this version of a 13700 VCA because I've, I've checked the circuit over and over again, checked my board layout over and over again and I can't find any faults and I have a, a, a limited understanding of the theory of how the OTA works, uh, as I explained earlier, uh, in a very simple way. Um, that's, but that's a very basic theory. So, I don't really know why it does what it does. But, it is what it is. And, if you want to have a go at getting this, this to work, then the modular in a week has got the circuit diagram. I've shown you my strip board layout maybe you can get it to do something that I can't so hey why not go on have a go build your own <laughs>